New Rip, an innovative new technology to monitor children's breathing. Respiratory inductive plethysmography, or RIP, is a technique used to monitor a patient's breathing patterns. It is used for diagnosing and monitoring children with lung disease and assessing the effectiveness of therapies. Using bands placed around the torso, the technique measures volume changes in the abdomen and rib cage. These measurements are then translated into useful indicators of lung health. Dr. Thomas Schaffer and Dr. Tarek Rahman at Nemours Children's Hospital in Delaware have developed a new technology called NewRIP, which allows continuous real-time monitoring using RIP. This device is more user-friendly, high-tech and compact than traditional RIP technologies. It uses a novel wireless analyzer that serves up real-time data on an iPad. In several studies, Schaffer and Rahman assessed their new device in children with neuromuscular conditions and other diseases affecting the lungs. Children with these conditions often require continuous monitoring to detect and treat potential problems before they become more serious. However, current monitoring methods are time-consuming, expensive and very tiring for children. Schaffer and Rahman have shown that new RIP can rapidly and easily assess children's breathing. Providing instant data, their device is accurate, easy to use and portable, making it suitable for a variety of settings, including emergency departments, intensive care units, outpatient clinics and at home. The researchers have also successfully demonstrated its use in very small premature babies. Monitoring the breathing of premature babies is critical so that problems can be rapidly detected and addressed. In another study, the team used NuRIP to gather data about thoracoabdominal asynchrony, a condition in which rib cage and abdomen movements are mismatched during breathing. By feeding these data into a machine learning algorithm, they taught it to recognize the condition in other patients. The team's machine learning approach can identify thoracoabdominal asynchrony with an accuracy of over 90%. As such, it could be extremely useful in rapidly detecting thoracoabdominal asynchrony and other problems before they turn into severe complications. In upcoming research, Schaffer and Rahman aim to help children with chronic pain. They argue that synchronous breathing can help such children to better cope with symptoms. The team is creating a biofeedback mobile app for NuRIP to be used during yoga therapy. By visualizing their own breathing data on the app, children can learn which yoga techniques improve their breathing, helping them to reduce their symptoms. NuRIP offers numerous advantages over currently available technologies. This innovative device and mobile app have the potential to significantly improve the care and management of very sick children around the world. Thank you.